On Saturday at 9.30 p.m., a 33-year-old man was shot and critically wounded in the West Town neighborhood. He was exiting a residence in the 2000 block of West Maypole when someone stepped out of a silver car and opened fire. The man was shot in the head, the arm, and both legs. He was taken to Stroger in critical condition. The shooter or shooters are still large. On Saturday at 12.15 a.m., three people were shot in Chicago's Lawndale neighborhood. They were standing on a street corner in the 3000 block of West Arthington Street when someone walked up and opened fire. A 32-year-old man was shot in the leg, a 26-year-old woman was shot in the chest, and a 27-year-old man was shot in the face and left leg. Three were taken to Mount Sinai Hospital in serious condition. This shooting is believed to be gang-related. The shooter or shooters are still large. On Sunday at 9 p.m., a 50-year-old man was wounded in a shooting in the Inglewood neighborhood. The man was driving north in the 5600 block of South Emerald when he passed a group of people on the west side of the street. Someone in the group pulled out a gun and fired shots, hitting him in the chest and head. He was taken to Stroger Hospital where his condition was stabilized. The shooter or shooters are still large. On Sunday at 10.30 p.m., two men were shot in the Inglewood neighborhood on Chicago's south side. The men were standing on a front porch in the 5500 block of South Troop when someone began shooting at them. The 28-year-old was shot in the left leg and the 35-year-old was shot in the butt. Both men were taken to Stroger Hospital where their conditions were stabilized. According to Chicago police, both men were being uncooperative with investigators. This shooting is believed to be gang related. The shooter or shooters are still large. On Sunday at 11.55 p.m., the last shooting of the weekend occurred on the Dan Ryan Expressway. Shots were fired at a vehicle traveling northbound at Interstate 90-94 near 33rd Street. The vehicle was struck by gunfire, but the driver, luckily, was not injured. The last weekend of August left 10 dead and 57 wounded in shootings across Chicago. August of 2016 has been the most violent month in 20 years. There have been more than 80 homicides so far this August and 485 so far this year on the bloody streets of Chicago.